Hi, today I want to show you some tips and tricks for getting the most out of Defont.com, which is one of my favorite websites. I know a lot of us use this, but I uh, just want to make sure you're able to use it the most efficiently as possible and see all the cool things it can do. If you do a search in Defont, I'm going to search on the word fancy. One thing you'll notice is that Defont searches on categories, authors, and font names. So when you do a search, the first thing that will come up is some advertising stuff for commercial fonts. You can skip over that. You'll go to the categories that, that match, the authors that match, and then you'll get to the fonts. When you're viewing these fonts, you can type in your own preview here. So you can say whatever you want to say. You can change this from 20 to 50, 100, or 10. I usually use 50. It just seems a little more efficient. You can change the size of the preview and you can also tell it to show variants. And if you show variants, it's, then you'll see all the weights such as light and bold. You'll see italics. Sometimes you'll see decorative variations, ornaments, and something like that. You click Submit and it'll redraw that with the, the specifications that you just gave it. There's also another feature here. If you click in the preview box and you click any of these, it will give you different variations. And you can choose all or none or any combination of them. So when you do that, for instance, it will show it in all lowercase, mixed case, and all uppercase. And you could choose any or all of these. Like if I wanted it just to show an uppercase, it doesn't matter how I type it. If I click on uppercase and hit submit, it's going to give me all uppercase. So that's just another way I can investigate. Maybe I think I want all uppercase, but then I don't like that. I maybe want to go back and see what it looks like mixed. And anytime you want to go back to the defaults, you just click Reinitialize, and it goes back to the, the way it was when you opened the font. If you look over here to the right, you'll see the licensing information right underneath the red line, free for personal use, 100% free. And you'll see the Safe Download button, which is just this gray download button. And uh, sometimes you'll have a Donate to the Author button. When you click on one of these, you see the same information over here to the right and to the left you see the font designer's name. If you like a font you might want to look at other fonts of the same theme which is listed over here in the right hand part of the red bar or you might want to see fonts from the same designer which is over here on the left hand side and sometimes you also have the website of the designer where you could go if you wanted more information about them or um, maybe to see if they had some fonts for sale. If you scroll down on the fonts page you will get a character map and if you had variants checked on the page before when you did the search then you will also get a character map for each of the variants. And these character maps are, uh, are images so you can uh, save them drag and drop them to another document, copy and paste, or you can just use them online. Now as I mentioned before, the fonts on Defont are assigned categories or themes, and there's a button up here for themes. And it's a good idea to get familiar with these because it will really help you to know um, how to find a font or how to identify a font. Uh, for instance, I know that the collegiate style fonts are in this old school category under fancy and that circus fonts are under the western category under fancy and that old English fonts are in the medieval section under gothic. So when I'm looking for any of those I know exactly which category I can find them under. If you are in one of these categories browsing you'll notice some extra search options. The default is sorted by popularity, but you can also search by name alphabetically or to have the newer fonts come up first. 
and if you click on this more options you can search by license so in other words you could search for only the 100 percent free fonts and you've also got a chance to search for some of the um, foreign features there the font unfortunately does not tag fonts by keyword but you can make your own categories you need to sign up for the free to font account once you're signed in you'll see some more text buttons under the red line you can click these to add new groups or to add that font to an existing group that you have assigned and then you can go up under my selections to look at all the specialties that you have assigned for instance I have a robots category and I can click that and I can see all of the fonts that I have assigned to the robots category so when I'm working on a robot related project I have fonts and dingbats here that I think fit you can make as many of these of your own categories as you want and you can share them with other people using the link at the top of this page if you don't know how to install fonts can click on the FAQ link at the font and it will give you instructions for how to install font on Windows or Mac depending on what your operating system is so I hope these tips will help you be more effective when using the font thanks so much for watching